All right. Well, what are we going to tackle first here? We're, uh, we've got a bunch of stuff fitted up, but I think in this round, I want to get the body mounted. Well, gets, I should say, get all the body mounts made. That'd be kind of cool. And, uh, we got a notch back here for the axle. So we need that one done. Uh, make this one brace. We'll have to make one back here too. I want to make some way to attach the back of the car yet. Uh, we'll probably move that tranny cross member. We'll do the motor mount. Once that's done, I can kind of get this rad sitting where it's supposed to. And then we can kind of do, I think I might try to lift it and do a test fit and see if I can do flip the spindles or something on the front axle. I'll have to flip it. I guess I can just, you can just turn the calipers around. I don't see the point pulling the spindles off because, well, I still have to mess with the steering arm and stuff like that anyways. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can put this in the back, if it'll work under the rad and stuff like that. I don't think so. I think we're kind of hooped with this thing in the front. So it'll be questionable if we're just... If I leave this look or we just cut the front off and it's just a straight nothing in the front. So it's kind of like this weird hybrid uh, tea bucket style, but not like excessively long. I know a lot of folks say just take the, uh, like bring the spring back here and do that. But then I'd have to have my spring sitting way back here. You can move the axle back, but there's, there's a lot of complications with it. And if I move this works back and then did that with the rad, then the rad would be in a weird position that I don't think looks nice. Like if the rad was sitting in front, now everything's like shuffled in front. So anyways, we'll just start with basics. Let's get the body mounted. We'll deal with that. And then we'll get the motor sitting where it is. We'll do a rough something here just so we make sure our motor's all spaced up. That's all good. I have ordered my pulley. I probably mentioned that, but so I'll be running the short water pump and stuff. I think I ordered a pulley and I ordered an alternator bracket. So that works with it when I ordered my headers. Uh, I just don't have it and I don't feel like making all the stuff and the parts were fairly cheap. I think they just hook onto the front exhaust manifold or do something. I don't know really how it works, but we'll figure it out when it comes here. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, Let's mount the body first.
right. I think I got it about where I want. I'm uh, kind of excessively went a little overboard with that notch. Now judging by what I did here, but oh well. What's done is done. <laughs> it won't really matter because I'm going to make the trunk floor just level with this. Eh, it'll be fine. Uh, I got it raked up to what I wanted. So I wanted when you're standing back, you can just see the wheel arch over the wheel. I think that's cool. Uh, I still got to cut and raise this one mount. I think I got to redo that one too because I had to bring the back up a little more than I wanted. So, because you can see how my... My mount is loose under there and I should mount a piece of rubber under here too because I'm just going to drill and put a nut like a whatever I'm going to make the mount into here but this is going to work with some bracing and stuff like that so that'll strengthen that up back here because I'm just going with the theme I'm going to stick with my floor is going to stay level here I uh, put this one in I'll probably make a drop mount that'll come down and then same thing I'm going to bolt it on the chassis won't be too bad because we have our uh, outrigger here, outrigger here. So if we come back here and we have one on top, that's no problem. Back there, we'll uh, extend this off and we'll attach to whatever this feller had started making. And uh, back here, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do yet. I might just make something that drops down and then hooks under the body under it or I don't know for sure how I want to do this one yet I could come back and attach to this this is pretty strong but I don't know if I really want to do that because I don't really want to attach to this lip so I'm not sure how I want to do that one I, it, it might make sense just to go under and just like then I can put a bolt through and it's like eh, if you lift the body off it nothing's getting hung up on stuff that's kind of the way I'd like to do it. Then I guess in the big picture, when this is said and done, I'll probably have just a flat floor that comes down, like as small as this trunk is. At least it'll come down, kind of do its business here. Uh, so you can fit a couple of lawn chairs, I guess, or something in it. It's something. Like I could make more pockets in here, but uh, no, not going to happen. Not going to do that. Anyways, I'm going to make some mounts to go to the bar from there. We'll make something for the back here. Raise those two again. Good thing I can just keep welding the tops of them so I can keep cutting off those first mounts. <laughs> and then uh, we'll start running some uh, bracing. I think we got a bunch of the one by one. I still have a little bit left. The front will be some heavier steel, so I'm not too worried. I'm still not sure how I'm doing that, but we'll figure that out. Anyways, let's just get back to the basics and start finishing up some of these motor, uh, body mounts. Sure, nothing moved. <clears throat> Good to go. Cool.
All right. <laughs> so we have made, in here we've made some mounts that go to a flat plate. I think it's like a quarter inch or something. You can't see it. I have to drill all the holes everywhere. So I'm gonna do a couple holes just to make sure the body stays where it's supposed to stay. But we have mounts in the back onto this pad in the middle off outriggers off to the side there and then we'll have some in the front i have these plates which were i don't know like old bumper mounts for something i built but anyways they're up front they're not they're on there but they don't have any bracing i'm going to build some bracing up to it and then uh they should be cherry we can be able to build our flooring all around it so as it sits our flooring situation is going to be like here i don't know where it's going to end because I'm thinking I'm going to be mounting the spun tank somewhere. I'm hoping that I can put it in such a way I can still open the trunk and fill it. But I want to build uh, like a way you can't see it, if that makes sense. So then I'll have a back rest and yada yada. Down here, I know it doesn't look like a lot, but I don't know. That's going to take a lot for that dry shaft to hit. So it's going to be a pretty flat floor. I'll be able to put like a bench seat or something in here. Maybe I can use that LeBaron seat when it's all said and done be kind of cool this one looks like like it would work i don't know which is top which is bottom i'm gonna guess that's the bottom and then this would be the top like the upholstery stuff's nice on it i don't know maybe i can use it maybe not we'll find out we'll have other options if it doesn't uh, all right so I have that, again, I'm gonna drill a couple holes quick just so we have reference points that stuff stays where it's supposed to stay. And uh, we'll have to do some more clearancing. We'll have to build up a structure inside of here because now the back half of the car, only this and the sheet metal's holding it. So we gotta build a new frame to go up and around. It doesn't have to be very thick. It'll probably just be some one inch or something like that. One by two, one by three, whatever I used over here. If I get some more of that, that'll be like plenty strong for that part. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Let's drill some holes. Uh, let's test fit a piece of something flat in the front so we know roughly where we're moving our motor. Because right now where it sits, this is not working. So the motor will have to go ahead a little bit, which is fine. Because we'll be running a different water pump and we'll have plenty of room up in the front after. Um, but we'll have to get the rad down. Seeing how the body's like where it's supposed to be now. I have another door in the shed. It has this V pattern on it. I don't know if the door, I think the door's probably maybe in better shape. That's marginally thing. I do dig the pattern, but I do kind of want to just build, I think I'll get a sheet of aluminum and then we'll kind of bead roll something and kind of make a tin interior. But uh, first things first, we'll just work it one thing at a time. I'm gonna get the bar out. I'm gonna shove this motor ahead till I can at least my distributor clears the firewall and uh, drill some holes. So I got the rad out. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is, you may as well try to reuse these motor mounts. They're kind of made, I don't know, they're, they don't look, well, they're welded on. I don't know how good, we'll find out. Basically, I'm gonna pop these off. I'm gonna take my temporaries out. The motor is about where I want it. So I'm gonna take this, uh, move it back up into there. That should do us for that. 
And then I'm gonna grab a piece of 14 gauge, I think, and I'm gonna try to make uh, just the super flat firewall. I went into the shed and found me a swing pedal, judging by the name, uh, whatever, how it's labeled. I'm guessing it's from a 55 Chevy. And then that funky pedal assembly that I can't use. I'm going to steal the master off of it for now. Uh, I think this is like the Corvette style, but it is uh, manual. Or it has the slug you can put in there to use it for uh, power. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I'll probably order one, but at least I have it for mock-up. And then if you go with this pedal assembly, I think if this thing bolts onto the lower set of units here... Uh, like that and then I make a rod we should be pretty cherry for uh, a master cylinder so this thing should fit pretty good on the firewall I'm thinking well eventually <laughs> that said the car is pretty high so I could actually mount the motor lower uh, part of me thinks it's cool when the distributor is like sticking way up like some of those guys do but Ah, there's no reason I can kind of lower everything so it's not gonna hurt nothing so well we'll see where it goes yet but uh, for now I have to lower or I want to probably lower that some more and then as long as I can clear this steering box that's the big thing in the end as long as the exhaust clears that so we can go down quite a bit I'm not too worried it doesn't fit in where it's supposed to go because this two-speed power glide has this funky shifter once that's gone we can make a mount for this thing we'll probably raise it up a little bit but uh, get it to where we need and then uh, yeah I don't know there's a lot of funkiness still got to go on but we'll 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 pick at it one thing at a time cars in a couple days before we go I want to give it a good cleaning on the inside. I'll touch the outside before we go. Got a few days. Everything so far has been working pretty good. Um, I did put a bigger fan on because, you know, back to the 50s is a lot of driving around at some slow speeds. But I'm not too happy with the performance of it. Like the other one worked really well. So I can't get it tight to the red. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is make myself. Hey, I'm going to see how this one pulls over that one. If they pull both the same, then I might just put that one back on. Um, I felt this thing would have kept my temps lower, but it's not really doing that. So um, I'm going to pull it off quick and I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I think that's like the last little bug that I got to do. Check my fluids again and I think uh, this sucker is going to be ready to go.
Well, we got our rad shroud done. It's uh, not very fancy or glorious, but I think it'll work better than what I had going on because I just had some tape going around, so this might pull better. I did punch a couple louvers, not that they're really going to do anything, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to smash this back in the car, and then we're going to see how... Uh, whoa, I'm losing you guys. We're going to see how well this thing just works parking and uh, running. Hopefully it runs better. The other fan actually pulled really well, and I think it was just out of like a Cavalier or something like that, but... I would like to, this one should be more CFM because it's supposed to be like 2,800 or 3,000 CFM. So anyways, I'm going to slip it in. We'll probably tidy it up a little bit and uh, call her good to go for back to the 50s. I'm just going to do a cleanup in the car quick and we're going to give her. All right. Today I got my shocks. Eh, they're not quite, they're like topped right out. So when you go up on a bump, well, I don't have it bolted on the bottom yet, but there's no actual up travel. I think the uh, the way I'm going to fix that is the way this mount is made up. I'm going to redo this one so up here or something so I can actually get some travel out of it. Uh, or even just bolt it to the bottom spring plate. Then that gives you like three inches up travel. Not that we need that, but it'd be uh, better than every time hitting a bump and it's like bang, 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 <laughs> until you pop your shocks apart. So I'll have to work on that, but I do have them. I'll probably just set it in there for now so I can at least lift it and the axle won't droop down, knowing that I have to actually address it and, and fix the issue. Uh, then we'll get back to the motor and start working on those motor mounts. That will be the plan here.
that worked out pretty good so I welded the transmission in like the other feller did because I don't know what's the difference I guess it's not a terrible amount of work just to pull the motor and trans so we're gonna leave it at that that's how it is it's a little tight behind the distributor but that's okay we can still get it in and out it's all I care about our rad is now dropped lowered it actually looks a lot more like if a guy had a hood top on it well if you could put a hood top on it <laughs> you can't really with the distributor and whatnot but uh i didn't really want to anyways we got that there but it has like at least a downward slope uh we got some adjustability with the rad because it can move back and forth now that it's a lower we probably have room for well still a pretty small fan i don't know exactly what we could fit in there let's guess well, for sure a 10, maybe a 12 inch fan, which I don't know, probably a 10 would probably be plenty to cool this being the aluminum and everything else on top of that. Uh, yeah, the rad hose. Yeah, I don't know. It's there, it should work. Pretty good, happy with that. Like it does sit a little you know, I mean, well, I guess once the license plate's on, that'll distract from the fact there's so much rad hanging down underneath it. And that the grill shell's crooked. It's making everything look crooked right now. <laughs> oh, man. That's all right. But seeing where the rad's at, that's just telling me it's not even worth trying to flip the steering around. It's just not going to happen. The only way it would work is you'd have a drop. It'd be under the, the hairpins, and then you're chancing dragging that thing on stuff. So, eh. I'll just leave it as it is. It's weird, but it's different. Eh, whatever. Nothing wrong with it. At least if there's some kind of failure, the axle has somewhere to smack versus just your frame spearing into the ground, eh? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't think I really got as much done as I wanted, but hey, it's it's progress. We're, we're slowly getting there. Uh, doo -doo. I hunted around. I don't think I have any window frames. So I'm probably going to have to make something, but I don't know if I'm going to cut this more. I've probably talked about that before, but I forget all the time. So we'll see, but I'm still kind of thinking, and eh, it's not going to happen. Mostly because there is more room and you can have a more comfortable chair. You don't have to build and sit all slouched out in it, but things might change. We don't know yet, uh, but I'll have to build a window frame. I built one for my truck, so I don't think it'll be too bad and i'm gonna hunt around i gotta see for some reason i have a feeling i have a shoe box dash somewhere which i guess that'd be kind of cool in here being big and then the steering wheel will be out a bit you know that might all work together but but anyways i think uh i think we did good for this round i uh i think the next round we're gonna tackle firewall and start figuring out our floors i think that's kind of the plan um maybe we should do the shock mounts the shock and headlight mounts i think once we figure that stuff out i can at least lift the car on the hoist and stuff like that and don't have to worry about my suspension falling out oh mind you the front won't the springs there the back's got the shocks even though they're wrong yeah we could actually lift it it's kind of cool anyways enough babbling <laughs> uh i want to thank you folks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.